this patient is sitting comfortably. Okay. So, what are the precondition for the measuring blood pressure? For every pressure, every procedure, it is blood pressure measurement or it is anything. There are some pre-procedural prerequisites, pre-procedural requirements. Okay. वो क्या है? Blood pressure measurement के लिए दो-तीन छोटी-छोटी चीजें हैं. There are two, three important things. What are these? Number one, that patient has not done exertion in last 20-30 minutes. Exertion means patient has not done running, jogging, okay, and uh, climbing stairs and like that. Number one. Number two, patient has not taken tea or coffee in last 15-20 minutes. Tea and coffee can can cause what? It can cause tachycardia. It can cause sympathetic stimulation as well. Number three is patient has emptied the bladder. These things you will tell to examiner. Okay? That we will ask the patient to void the bladder. Okay? Bladder is full. Patient may be little nervous or not comfortable. Number three. And number four. Another is to keep the instrument at the level of the heart. Okay? So, suppose you are measuring here. Patient is comfortable in sitting or it is so not in the propped up position, but we will ask the patient to lie in a proper supine position. Okay. Suppose if it is working, then we can do it. So moment you will do these changes, the examiner will understand that you know this. Then you will ask him to extend the right arm. In case of the CNS patient, if CVA is there, then we usually do not we do not measure in the paralyzed limb. Okay, we measure in the normal, unaffected limb. So this is the BP cuff. This cuff has two parts. What are these? Inflatable, inflatable part and non-inflatable part. Okay, this is the inflatable part of the cuff. We will wrap it over the right arm. So where is the brachial artery exactly? It is in the medial side of the cubital posa. Okay. Just medial to which tendon? Bicep tendon. Bicep, brachial tendon. Okay. So it is uh, almost here. So middle of this inflatable part of the cup we will place over the brachial artery like this. This is almost middle. Then we will keep little above one or two finger above. Okay. The patient is having very short arm, then there is no choice. But we have a choice. He is a good length patient. You will wrap it like this. You will wrap it with a good force. Okay. So it is. It should usually allow only one finger. So it is called a snugly tight. Then, then you will usually do by palpatory method first. Usually in the noisy scenes, in, suppose in OPD, in words, when there is no pin drop silence, you may not hear the oscillatory with sounds, coat of oh, sounds. So you will first feel, before inflating the cuff, you will feel the radial artery. You will palpate it. Why? Because, in, suppose you have inflated it up to the 200, then you are feeling radial artery which is, which is not expected. Okay. So what will happen? If patient is having peripheral vascular disease, suppose peripheral pulses are not there. You will wait for radial artery, you will declare BP is 70, patient is good. Okay. So he is maintaining perfusion everywhere, but the peripheral pulses are not there. So we, first of all, you will palpate the radial artery, see it is very good. Then you will start inflating it. Up to 30 millimeter above the um, disappearance of the pulse okay then we will deflate it two millimeter per beat this is very important so i have taken the idea that this patient has a systolic blood pressure by palpatory meter is 120 millimeter of the mercury then i will deflate it then i will use the stethoscope now i am doing what oscillatory method you should keep these uh, ear pieces of the stethoscope directing outwardly. 
ओके इंटीरियर में देन यू विल ऑलवेज चेक इट ओके व्हाट यू डू यू जस्ट पुट इन द ईयर यू पुट इट हियर एंड देयर इज नो साउंड बिकॉज़ इट इज नॉट प्रॉपर्ली रोटेटेड सो ऑलवेज जेंटली टैप इट ऑलवेज बिफोर ऑस्कल्टेटिंग एवरी पेशेंट देन प्लेस इट ओवर द ब्रेकल आर्टरी ओके देन so suppose in this patient it is 120 by 80 so how do you say yeah so how do you how do you describe it blood pressure is 120 by 80 mm of the mercury in right arm in supine position okay this is how you describe it then one more thing that why do we always take by palpatory method first and then auscultatory because one is the noise which can disturb another is something called as auscultatory anyone has heard of auscultatory gap or like this yes suppose appearance of the cortical sound then there is a gap then there is a cortical okay the cortical sounds are 1 2 3 4 5, 5. what are these डायस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर suppose sometimes in pregnancy there are certain adult diseases when you will examine the bp in your residency you will see the cortical sound has not disappeared It is there up to 50 40 30 20 <laughs> okay so in that case importance is that cortical sound for muffling is taken as the diastolic blood pressure this is all for blood pressure